Hello and welcome to Prime Care Medical Center Laboratory. In this video, we'll be learning about the biochemistry analyzer and how it works. This machine was manufactured by Mindry and this is the BS240 model. So basically, this is the analyzing unit. What you see in your screen now is the analyzing unit. And this is the operating unit. Okay. So as I already mentioned, in this video, our focus will be on the various parts of this analyzer and then how it functions. But before that, take a good look at the machine. So this is how it is when closed. And open. So let's start. This side is where we have the sample and reagent carousel. So I'm opening it now. So when it's open, this is how it looks like. So this is called the sample and reagent carousel. So basically, it has a tank table that hosts the reagent. So these are reagents. And this is where you place your sample in a tube. So, apart from the reagent bottles and then the sample bottles, this whole compartment is refrigerated. The temperature is maintained around 2 to um, 12 degrees Celsius, plus or minus 0 0.3 degrees Celsius. If you look here, the window here actually has a barcode <coughs> scanner there which scans the barcode on the um, reagent bottles. So as you can see, there's a barcode here. So um, the barcode scanner does that. Some of the sample um, bottles to come with scanners. And so it will scan it and tell you. So basically, um, it has three rings the outer ring here so the outer ring can hold up to 40 samples and then we have the middle ring which holds the um, the reagents and then we have an inner ring you can see that one here an inner ring so when you quickly uh, close it with the cover you realize that this there's a hole here, this is the outer ring, this is the middle ring, and this one will be the inner ring. Okay, so basically that is about this compartment. Now, let's focus on the dispenser assembly. So this is basically the dispenser assembly. This is the arm, this is the probe, and this is the rotor. And then in here we have a wash well. What the wash well does is that it washes the interior and the exterior of the probe. So basically, what does the um, probe does? What it does is that it picks um, the sample and then the reagent and then moves them to the reaction carousel where you have the cuvettes to allow the reaction to occur. After it doesn't work, it comes back to the wash well where it's washed now apart from it dispensing um, sample and reagent it also has a vertical detection which um, helps it to detect any obstruction in its vertical path apart from that it has a level detection and tracking so it's able to tell um, the liquid level in the sample tube or the reagent bottle and this also helps us to know how low it should go to be able to pick um, a specified amount of reagent or sample. So say 
they want to pick 10 microliter of the sample or 10 microliter of the reagent it has been programmed in such a way that it will know exactly how deep it should lower itself to be able to pick this specified amount of um, reagent or uh, sample okay so that's about the um, aspiration assembly now what we have here is the mixer this is the arm this is the mixer and that's the rotor so what it does is that and there is also a wash well here after mixing it will come here and then it will be washed so this is where the mixing actually occurs mm -hmm. so it moves to this position and then it has the uh, mixing done and then it comes back to the wash well where it gets washed okay so now let's come to this side of the machine so basically this is where we call the reaction um, carousel so in here we have cuvettes in there as you can see these are cuvettes that we have here they are in segments and let me show you how it looks like so basically this is how it looks like so they are in there like that you have um, five here and then there's eight of this in there so it's a turn table it moves around to wherever they are needed and then the reaction take place so basically this is where the mixing okay so anytime the cuvettes are moved to this position you should know that there is mixing occurs this is the r1 dispense position where reagent one is dispensed and this r2 dispense position where reagent two and then the sample is dispensed by of course the dispense the dispenser and this where we have the um the eight phase wash that's what the bs240 supplies so this one that has the washing it this probes are connected to the fluids and then it helps to wash the cuvette and this one will do the wiping okay so it basically washes the um, the cuvette with cd80 dilute cd80 and then deionized water which has been connected um, to the fluid so basically let me show you so so this is where uh, you have the the ionized water coming in and then we have the cd80 also coming in. these are basically sensors that help detect the level of cd80 or um or deionized water so it can tell you when they are in shortage and when you need to top up and these are basically waste tubes mm -hmm. so after washing it will um pass through this point and then come into the waste okay so quickly let me show you the um, so here we have our deionized water and here we have a detergent and this is our waste container where all the waste comes in so if you observe you realize that this is the sensor and this is the uh, tube that the deionized water passes through same for this and then same for this one so quickly let's come back okay so basically this is the um cuvette window which allows you to open and take out the cuvette you can use the cuvette for six months uh, three months and then after which you have to change it okay in here too there is a photometric system which basically measures the absorbance of the reaction so that the results can be um produced uh, it also has an air bath which maintains the temperature at 37 degrees celsius so that reactions can occur so basically that's about the parts of this bs240 analyzer um, if you look at the left side we have the switch button here and then the back side has the button for the refrigerator if you put it, if you want to put it on you put on the refrigerator button first and then you come and switch on the um, analyzer button which is here so here we have the software that you use to run the analyzer so this is basically the uh, operating software it's basically a computer 
with the software and install it. So in our next video, we'll be talking uh, into details about how to operate it. Thank you and watch out for part two.